Hey guys. Okay, so I guess let's just talk about the obvious. I did dye my hair. I got low lights put into it. Brown low lights just because I thought that my hair was a little too blonde for the fall and the winter and I wanted to make it darker, but I absolutely hate it. Um, I like didn't even want to make videos this week because I was so upset about it. It's Monday right now. I got it done on Saturday and when she first did it and like blew my hair out, I actually really liked it. And then once I got home, I was just like, oh my god, like what did I do? I hate it. I feel like it almost looks like gray or something. Just I think because the like really light blonde hair like and the brown just like together are like making this like gray tone I don't know I just really don't like it I feel like my hair is very ashy now and very like cool toned which doesn't go with my skin tone at all because I have really warm skin and I just think that it looks really really strange on me um so I'm really not happy with it I really don't know what I was thinking or why I thought that that was a good idea um so I am gonna go back and get it fixed but today like I said today is Monday and I got it done on Saturday and my hair salon is closed on Sundays and Mondays so I can't call until tomorrow but I'm gonna be calling them tomorrow and just telling them that I need to get it fixed because I hate it and I'm really really unhappy with it but like I said I didn't even want to make videos because I was so upset about it but making videos is actually something that makes me really happy and something that kind of relaxes me so I felt that I had to make a video and hopefully that would make me feel a little bit better um, but yeah so just bear with me through this hair experience and ironically enough I'm filming a hair care haul which is just so weird that that's what I'm filming but I did purchase a bunch of hair care stuff before I went and dyed my hair so I'm going to show you guys what I purchased and luckily none of the stuff that I bought was like specifically for you know low lighted or darker hair um it's all just kind of basic hair care stuff I just was out of a lot of basic staples that I needed so I went and bought a lot of stuff and yeah so kind of ironic that I'm filming this video but just bear with me and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Everything that I got in this video you can get at any drugstore. I got most of it at Target. But anything that I show in this video you can get at, you know, Target, Walmart, CVS, any of those big drugstore types. Okay, so I guess I'll just start off with shampoo. I did get a new shampoo. I just never stick with the same shampoo for a long time because I think that my hair gets used to it and then it'll just cause buildup and I always change out my shampoo. Like once I finish a bottle, I'll always just buy a new shampoo. And then eventually I'll go back to that shampoo if I liked it, but I always try and switch it up. So the new one that I got that I've actually never tried before is this infusion shampoo with I23 complex color defender one. So it just looks like this so it's specifically for color treated hair so it's 100 percent sulfate free which is something that i was looking for in um my product because even if your hair is blonde or dark or whatever if it's color treated you need to make sure that your shampoo doesn't have any sulfates in it because that's what's going to fade your color which you don't want if you're going to go spend all this money on your hair and then you're going to use a shampoo with sulfates it just doesn't make sense because then your hair color is just going to fade um really quickly so yeah that's why i got this it's also not tested on animals and is hypoallergenic so I thought that it would be really good. It also says that it helps to promote shine and make your hair look thicker, which I definitely need. So yeah, super excited to give this a try. The girl actually recommended it to me. I just was talking to the girl at CVS when she was like restocking the shelves and she recommended this to me. So that's why I picked it up. And it also says on here, truer color, two times longer. So yeah, I think this would be great for color treated hair and just helping you preserve your color for as long as possible. For me right now, I wanna like, wash my hair with like acid to get this damn color out of it. Um, so I'm not gonna be using this until I fix my hair because I do not want this hair color to stay any longer than it has to. The next product that I purchased is a new conditioner. Again, conditioner, I'm kind of the same way. I always switch it up. I won't use the same one multiple times. And this one is a new one that I have never tried before. And it's the Clear Scalp and Hair Therapy Strong Lengths Conditioner. It just looks like this. I have tried a shampoo from this brand, from the Clear Scalp and Hair Therapy brand, and I really, really liked it. So that's why I went ahead and tried the conditioner, and it's for strong length. It says it's just a nourishing daily conditioner, nourishes scalp for strong, beautiful hair. Hair. So obviously you guys know I'm trying to grow my hair out just to the point where I don't ever have to wear extensions anymore. So I thought that this would be good to help my hair grow. If you guys have tried this, definitely let me know how you like it. And it actually smells really nice. 
I did actually use this once and it smells really nice. So I like this one a lot. So yeah, and it's also relatively cheap. I meant to say that about the shampoo as well because a lot of times sulfate free shampoos are a lot more expensive than your basic shampoos. And I believe that shampoo is only like $6 or so. So it's pretty cheap for a um, shampoo that's safe for color treated hair. And this conditioner was the same. I believe this was like four, five or so dollars. I'm um, not expensive. I'm not a big fan of like high end hair care. Like. If it's a product, I'll show you guys a few products in here that are more expensive that I actually think really work. But when it comes to like shampoo and conditioner, I just can't justify spending like $40 on a shampoo and conditioner. Like it's just, I don't know, I can't justify it. The next thing that I picked up, this is one of the two high-end things that I told you guys I was going to be talking about. And that is the Paul Mitchell Extra Body Daily Boost Root Lifter. It just looks like this. I've talked about this in my videos before, I believe. I just absolutely love this because this is the only root booster and volumizer that I have ever found that does not leave a disgusting residue in my hair. Like all, I've I've tried like the Garnier Fructis. They make a lot of like root boosters and volumizers and they work really well. Really do give your hair so much body and volume, but they leave like such a residue in your hair. This is the only one that I've ever found that does not leave a residue, but still does lift your hair. So I absolutely love this. You just spritz this in your wet hair and then you blow dry it. I blow dry my hair upside down and it just gives your hair a lot of extra body. It makes it look really, really nice and full and doesn't leave that gross residue. The next item that I purchased is this Marc Anthony Strictly Curls Curl Perfecting Serum. It just looks like this. I absolutely love this stuff. I've tried, I've used this for a really, really long time. Whenever I curl my hair, I always do kind of like tighter curls when I'm actually curling it and then I brush through them. But when you brush through them, then they're like really messy. So I like them to be more loose and that's why I brush through them, but I don't like them to be so messy. So I just put a little, just one little squirt of this on my palm and then mix it together and then go through and it just kind of takes the curls and like puts them together so they're not so messy, but they're still like a lot more loose. It just like, I don't really know. It just perfects the curls. Like it's called a perfecting serum and that's literally exactly what it does. Um, it says it also repels humidity, enhances and defines soft, shiny curls. Yeah, it also makes them really, really shiny, which I like, but it doesn't make them greasy. You can't go overboard with this though. Like if you're doing like three pumps of this, no, no, no. It's gonna make your hair so greasy. I have pretty thin hair. I do one pump and that is good. Like if you have thick hair, maybe two pumps. So definitely no more than that because it is like almost like a shine serum as well and makes your curls like really shiny and bouncy but if you use too much of it, it's gonna weigh your hair down and make it greasy and disgusting. So as long as you use the right amount, this is an amazing, amazing product and just makes your curls look perfect. The next thing that I got is my staple hairspray and that is my Tresemme Tres 2 hairspray. Um, just the mega firm control hairspray. It's the purple one. Um, I've talked about this in so many of my videos. This is just my favorite hairspray because I go through hairspray like crazy so I can't spend a lot of money on hairspray. I think this is like $3 a bottle. Um, but it's amazing, holds your hair all day. You don't have to use that much of it. I use this to tease my hair. I use it as all over spray when I curl my hair. Um, it's just an amazing hairspray and it's not that expensive, so I love it. The next hair product is the last of the kind of high-end hair products. Like I said, I only had two that I purchased and this is another high-end hair product that is definitely worth it and that is the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. It just looks like this. I'm sure you guys have heard about this. This is all over YouTube. Everybody raves about it because it's absolutely amazing. It's basically a deep conditioning mask for your hair. For you guys who don't know what a deep conditioning mask is, basically you use it the same way that you would use conditioner. What you do when you're in the shower, you shampoo your hair, get your hair clean, and then put this in your hair, but you're gonna let it sit for like 10 minutes or so. Sometimes I even let it sit for longer. I don't really like set a specific time. What I do is after I shampoo my hair, I'll put this in and then I will, you know, shave and like exfoliate, wash my face, wash my body, do whatever else I'm going to do in the shower. And then the last thing that I do is wash this out. So a lot of the time, most of the time it's in there between 10 to 20 minutes, probably around 15. I don't really know how long it is, but basically the majority of the time that I'm in the shower. This I use about once every two weeks or so, so like twice a month. It's really, really, really important. Hair masks are going to make your hair super soft, super shiny, really help your hair and strengthen them. But it's really important that you don't put too much protein in your hair because then it can do the reverse effect and make your hair like straw and disgusting. So you definitely don't want that. And on this it just says revitalizing hair constructor for dry damaged hair, which is literally exactly what it does. 
Um, it just keeps my hair really healthy looking and not so dried out and damaged. Um, but like I said, really, really, really important. You can't use this every day, not as much as a daily conditioner. Like I said, I recommend twice a month, you know, once every two weeks. You can probably get away with doing it once a week if you have really dry hair and really damaged hair, but definitely don't do it every day because then it can have the reverse effect on your hair. So don't overuse it, but if you use it correctly, it'll definitely make a huge difference in your hair. This jar right here, this is the, how many ounces is this? 8.5 fluid ounces. Um, so this jar is $33 at Ulta. So yeah, but it's definitely worth the money. I'm telling you, it is absolutely worth the money. I would not spend $33 on something that I didn't think was an amazing product. And this really, really is. So it is worth the money and really will help your hair, especially if you have dry and damaged hair like I do. The next product is an argan oil that I use all the time in my hair. I absolutely love this argan oil. And that is the Renewing Moroccan Argan Oil, the light version from Organics. This is what it looks like. I have talked about this before in my videos, but they did change the packaging on it recently I just got this new one it used to be in a light blue like this part was light blue and then the top was gold like this so it looks different now um, I don't really know why they changed the packaging but I like this packaging all gold and stuff I think it's really pretty but at first I like couldn't find it and I was like oh my god like what's going on and the lady was like oh no no no, they changed the packaging here it is and I was like oh thank you um, so yeah but I like the new packaging I think it's really pretty and really sleek but this is just an amazing argan oil and it's not that expensive. You guys know that I like my chi oil and I do use that, but that is like $50 for like the bottle of it where this one I think is $6 for this and you only have to use a tiny, tiny bit. Like the last one, I just bought this new one, but the last one that I had, I literally had for a year because um, you only use the tiniest little bit of it. You just put it on your ends, not all through your hair and it really helps to just soften your hair, make it more shiny, make it more smooth and sleek. Um, and just less dry, which is pretty much what all these products are gonna do, kinda try and put moisture back into your hair because I take so much moisture out of it with, you know, dyeing it and styling it and everything, just like you guys do. So yeah, absolutely love this. Just this Organics brand in general, they make really, really good products are really, really cheap. I know you can get it at Walmart, Target, you can get it at Harman's, I'm pretty sure CVS has it. A bunch of places have it. It's just a really good brand all around, but this is absolutely one of my favorite products from them. I do have the light version just because I have fine hair. It says it's for fine and brittle hair. I have very thin hair, so I get the light version, but if you have thicker hair, you can just get the regular version and that'll probably work great for you. But I really like that they do make the version for thinner hair just so it doesn't make our hair like greasy or weigh it down. The last two hair products that I have to talk to you guys is actually more of hair tools rather than products. And the first one is just this wide tooth comb. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen like these before. I use this when I get out of the shower with my wet hair. Never brush wet hair with a brush. You should always comb it out with a wide tooth comb that's gonna help with breakage and so you're not ripping your hair out. Um, and I lost mine. Like I used to have a really cute pink one that didn't have this like long like tail on it. It was just like this. And it was like neon pink and it was so cute and I lost it, which I feel like is such a weird thing to lose. Like how do you lose a wide tooth comb? It should always be in my bathroom. It's not like I would bring that in my purse with me or anything. I don't know, but I can't find it anywhere. So I got this one and I got this at Target. They only had green and green is not really my color, but I really needed one. I didn't want to have to brush my wet hair with a brush, like I said, and just cause all this breakage. So I just got this green one because that's all they had. Um, but yeah, not too exciting, sorry. The last thing that I got, I'm actually really excited about and I actually really love it. Um, and I got this at Claire's. Claire's is an accessory store in my mall. I'm pretty sure it's like a chain. There's like a bunch of them in the United States. I know there's a bunch in New Jersey, um, but if they don't have this at Claire's. I believe they do have these at Sally's as well. And that is this mega donut. If you've seen my sock bun tutorial, which I will link in the bottom bar, if you haven't seen it, I use one of these, but a much smaller one, like the regular ones, which are like this big probably. They're way smaller than this. And you know, it gives you a nice sock bun, but I really like the really big sock bun look. So I got, I saw this mega donut and the girl was like, oh my God, no, it works amazing. It makes your sock bun so huge. So I was like, I have to have it. So I purchased this and I used it the other day and oh my God, it makes your sock bun literally ginormous and amazing looking. So I absolutely love this. It was $6 at Claire's. Like I said, if you don't have a Claire's near you, you can probably get it at Sally's um, or just anywhere where you can normally get like hair accessories and stuff, well, you will probably be able to find this. They're getting more and more popular. I've seen them more and more places. It's just like a giant donut to make your sock bun with, and it just makes your sock bun really, really big. So if you like that really big bun look, instead of having to use a little one and then kind of pull your hair out and do all this stuff to make it look bigger like I had to do or use extensions and all this stuff, um, you can just get this and use your natural hair and make it really, really big and it looks amazing. Like, I absolutely love it. If you guys want me to do like an updated tutorial with the bigger sock bun, just let me know in the comments and I will do that for you guys just because you pretty much do the same thing, but it looks a lot better with this in my opinion so 
So yeah, that's all the hair products that I have picked up recently. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I will see you in my next one when hopefully my hair is back to normal and better. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye!